How's it going? My name is Dallas aka Inferness and welcome to the Tech Realm. This is part two to the Lambo scam that I made about a month ago because it happened at around the same time. Except this time, instead of there being a full-fledged Lamborghini scam website, they decided to go a little bit lower in the budget and just simply do a fake email trying to convince whoever would get it that they entered into a giveaway without them remembering, obviously because they didn't enter into a giveaway. But somehow, won a prize pool of all kinds of things that they can choose from, ranging from a free lifetime supply of any game on both the PlayStation and the Xbox Store, all the way to an exotic car of your choosing, including that of a Lambo. I already won a Lambo for free, so I decided might as well have another one so I could show off even more. And if you're wondering how I get any of these emails, or I have such an abundance of them to just choose from, well, it goes back to another thing that I described in one of my previous scam videos, where I talked about a program, which was definitely a good idea to bring into existence, called Spamify My Email, where all you need to do is input a certain email address, and then what it would do would be sign up to a whole bunch, and I'm talking literally thousands, of spam-related websites, so that it would send your spam section of your email into critical mass territory, You'd just be getting dozens and dozens of all these fake malicious scam virus offers that now my email that I chose for this happens to look like this. And in there, I go through a whole bunch of them into the scam trials. And a whole lot of them don't even work out. That's what people don't really understand about making these types of videos. About 9 times out of 10, when you try to do this with scammers, they literally just don't even go anywhere. So this time, it happened to turn out pretty good because I'm guessing not too many people fall for this type of thing anymore, so they were getting a little bit desperate. But this email tried to convince me about the fact that I won either a Lambo or anything else out of their prize pool because I got entered into it. So I thought, why not just convince them that I actually got the prize? So I decided to go and respond to them and entertain that because that's the only way that we can actually get this free Lamborghini. After replying with a brief but convenient, okay, they came back with their specific response. Hello and salutations, my dear friend. I'd like to personally congratulate you on your choice to enter a raffle for the giveaway pool. Since you chose the prize pool for this already, you will be in short contact with one of our leading executives in control of this giveaway. I'm so happy and excited for you to receive your prize. First time. Let us know if you need any help. That's great. I can't wait to get it too. I'm wondering though, does there happen to be something I need to pay first in order to get the prize? I've won many nice things before, but there has been some confusion on the matter of needing to pay first, even if I won the thing. I hope nothing of this problem happens this time, as it's caused many tiresome issues. I really would like to win stuff with no strings attached. So sorry to hear that. Don't worry, we'll be able to cover everything with the giveaway manager. Thank you, dear. Hi there, I'm the giveaway manager for the car giveaway. Since you chose this giveaway as prize, I can assure you I will walk you through the process of getting it shipped. Alright, alright, skip it. I think we get the point. You got it. She's uh, coming off the assembly line. Would you like to continue on email or would you prefer Discord? Discord is preferred for much faster connect. The Discord username is Lamborghini Official, and then they link the Discord account for their Discord thing. It's always convincing when you see an account that says the name of the company that you're doing business with, and that's good enough for me. Okay, thanks for letting me know. I just want to make sure all the loose ends are covered beforehand. Switching on the Discord. Hi, how's it going? Good. And how about you? Yes. Thanks for entering our prize giveaway. As you know, many contestants enter our giveaway, so it's a privilege to win our rare prizes. I'm here to discuss your prize of a Lamborghini that you selected. Yeah, and I'm super excited. I can't believe it's this easy to win a Lambo. I don't even remember entering the competition. It's like I won it in my sleep. Yes, definitely. All I do is win, after all. The main discussion we need now is to process the tax fee for the car, since the car MSRP costs enough to need taxes, even though you win it. We can only ship it to you, in your name after you pay the tax ownership fee. Like this one time, I won another Lambo, and the guy who I won it from got so excited that he stopped talking to me after saying a bunch of bad words over the phone. So now that I'm going to have two Lambos, I can really show off to my friends. Alright, but did you read? I said you must pay a tax fee on the car because the car value means that taxes must be made before delivery. 
This means that you must pay for delivery. Since the car MSRP, the tax amount is $10,900, you must pay it for the ownership. Are you able to pay this fee? So at this point, they think I'm a full-fledged victim of their scam. So there's no point to entertain them too much after that. So I just went ahead and said, no. What do you mean? You cannot pay it? It is a really small fee in comparison to the car MSRP. Small fee? This is Lamborghini policy. I cannot change the policy. If you think I can, then you are wrong. And I don't have time to be wasting if you are unwilling to proceed to get your prize. If you are willing, I need you to give your legal name, address, and payment details for the tax. Alrighty. Ben Jorbia Smith. And I'll use my school address since I'm currently here and I want it to be accurate. It's 10... And are you willing to submit your payment details now? This will be preferred, as then your car can be shipped to you sooner than later, and have a one week wait time. This is the policy, I'm sorry, but I cannot change it. Hello? It's been one day and you have not replied. Are you done with proceeding, or will you pay? Hello? I actually did at this point. Wait all the way until the next day in order to reply to this person, because... Hi, I just want to let you know that I just got the Lambo delivered today, but it's not what I expected. And from this point on, it's a series of videos in order to convince them further that I definitely had gotten the car that they were planning on sending to me. You know what, bro? You could just have the car back, to be honest, if I gotta pay taxes, because that's just really not worth it. I mean, look, what kind of car has a door like this? It opens up instead of just to the side. And just check it out. It's green. What kind of car's green? <sighs> I mean, yeah, it's okay, but, you know, it's just not my style, you know what I'm saying? I could have gone for, like, pink or white, but, I mean, really? So, I mean, if I have to pay taxes on this, then you could just have it back. I mean, maybe I could, like, deliver it back to you somehow. Just hit me up, because, you know, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it, but thanks anyways. Good afternoon. You did not yet pay the tax for the vehicle, so we don't know how this is possible. I'm afraid you must pay taxes on your vehicle before we give your vehicle to you. I just told you, they delivered it today. The Lambo delivery truck just pulled up and dropped it off outside my house. There is no truck. Yes, it was just here. How else would I have gotten this free car? And then I posted a picture, which I have to admit has been very effectively altered, just slightly. I'll give it back if I have to pay taxes on it, because it's just not worth it. I don't even like Lambos anyways. It was pretty well planned out, as I literally made it quite convincing that I just didn't really care at all about receiving this half a million dollar car, as it was just really not the right color. I mean, how could it possibly be any worse? The guy said it was the prize entitled to my name, Ben Jorbia Smith. Why don't you understand? You are playing fun. You cannot have the car until paid a tax. So you don't have it. You cannot give it. No, bro, like I said, I'll literally just deliver this thing back to you. I mean, I'll drive to wherever you're at. Just just let me know, hit me up with the address. Because, I mean, this thing is just not all bad. I mean, really? Is this really the grand prize that you've given me and I have to pay taxes on it too? Like, what? I mean, it's unbelievable, man. I'm sorry. I'm just completely disappointed. And besides, I thought Lamborghini is supposed to be electric. Like, you're telling me that an electric car sounds like this? <laughs> Because last time I checked, it was a little bit more quiet. How am I supposed to go anywhere like this? Just hit me up, bro. Where did you get this vehicle? This is not prize vehicle. Give me the VIN number. What do you mean, where did I get the car from, bro? You gave it to me. I just found it sitting out here in my parking lot. Duh. I mean, come on, man. Are you in the game? I just told you where I got the car. But, like I said, it's green, and it's not even electric. I mean, do you have any idea what the cost of gas is? I just can't do that, man. Let me check it out. Does that sound like it's saving money? No. I don't want to pay taxes on that. This is a waste of time. I'm tired of the games. We did not give you a vehicle. We will deliver prize to other contestants if you can't, serious. There's not a way we deliver this car to you. Well then fine, you could have it back then, like I said, I don't want it. So if you don't want it, who does? Maybe I'll go drive it off a cliff or something if you don't even want it either. Okay, what is VIN number of car? 
I don't know. They only gave me the car, not any numbers. Okay, you cannot give me back the car because I don't know what the number is. Don't you see? Why are you such a stupid man? Bro, it's all good. It's just not my style, that's all. I'll even drive it to wherever you are to return it if you want, because I'm not paying any tax or something, so... You must pay the tax, you dumb guy. You already owe the tax for the car to be delivered. Well, you should have thought about that before you sent me a green Lamborghini out of all colors. Like, green? Green? Are you serious? You could have made it transparent and it would have been better. Green. I mean, look, even the steering wheel has green on it. Ugh. I don't want that. I want green in my pocket. Not on my car. You win the car. You do not get the car because you do not pay tax. Maybe this was another Lambo company that delivered this then. As I said, I can just drive it back to you if you want it. No, we will pick it up where you live. What is the address? Hey. Hey. Hello? Are you there? Well, this was a tiny bit of an unexpected turn, but definitely an entertaining one. Oh, sorry. I decided to just sell the vehicle after all, since I guess none of us wants it. Are you kidding me? Are you a fool? You cannot sell it. Bro? Hello? Yeah, what? What are you saying, that you sell the vehicle? Oh, that thing. I gave it away yesterday to a nice gentleman for 500 bucks. So, I guess it all worked out after all. What is wrong with you? Are you retarded? Do you understand that's a horrible price for such a car? Mister? Hello? I know, I can't even believe I managed to get that much. Especially for that color. What a sucker. No, you are a fool. I never seen such a fool in my life. Every time I say something, you say complete hogwash. Can you even speak? I will not put up if you are wasting my time. I will not deal with rubbish. Affirmative. I'm just happy I could walk away with such a steal. 500 buckaroos don't just grow on trees, you know. Then give me it, the money now for your tax. You owe the tax. What? What are you talking about? I thought you said you didn't want the car. No, you fucking idiot. I'm asking for the tax of the vehicle that you won prize of. Well, I gave the vehicle away, so maybe you should tax that guy I just sold it to. You know what, just give me the $500 for the tax. We will not discuss further or have other conflict. Ah yes, a nice compromise. What a gentleman. Sorry buddy, but if you wanted the car back, you should've just said so. Besides, I want to spend all of it on a chance to win a lifetime supply of McNuggets. Every meal you order from my local McDonald's, you get entered into the lottery. So I'm taking home their whole menu today. I don't think you understand, I'm not asking, I'm telling you to give me the money so I can tell my men to come to you if not. I have ties with the Mafia. Well sorry, but McNuggets? Better than Mafia, everyone knows that. Did you not go to math school? I don't do math school, but you are dumb because you fall from my scam anyway. That Lambo seemed pretty realistic for a scam. Nice try, bud. I know you're actually running a Lambo giveaway, and I won, so don't try to hide it. You're just getting jealous over my McNuggets. And at that, the Lambo scammer was no more. As he retreated back to the cave, I guess that's just how Mafia works. So maybe the CEO of Lambo that I was just talking to right now went on to try to give away one of their cars to another guy. But I'm just happy that I could walk away with a nice $500 in my pocket. And obviously, I didn't really. Because, well, in reality, there is no car, and there never would have been. Because this is just like any other scam. By the way, if you want to see behind-the-scenes clips and bloopers from my Lamborghini, yes, <laughs> definitely, my Lambo. Just kidding, I got it off of DTT Rentals, which you should definitely check out. You can go to my shorts channel, which will be in the description and also in the pinned comment, and you better go ahead and check out that video because there's a bunch of hilarious clips that you don't want to miss. Make sure you go down about two inches below this screen and make the red button gray. If you do that, you'll also get 10 years of good luck. Thanks for watching this episode and watching the part two of this scam series. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, my name's Dallas, aka Inferness. Goodbye.